Hello everyone, my name is Dawn Van Dam, and welcome to today's webinar. We really appreciate you taking your time out during this busy um, holiday rush time to uh, spend some time with us to learn more about how you can be successful in 2016. So I'm just going to go through a few introductory slides and uh, while I do that, I'm going to ask you if you wouldn't mind, just to the right of your screen, you'll see a chat box and if you can find my name, Dawn Van Dam, just send me a quick message in the chat box and tell me where you're located or tell me a little bit about what you do or, or what your responsibility is or um, you know, just, just give me a little bit of information about you so I know who's on online today. So today's webinar is all about how to increase sales by increasing traffic to your website using this one proven strategy. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Health Connections first. We're here to help support your growth and fundamentally we like to do that by helping you transform your science or your healthcare solutions into commercial success. And we do that help with supporting people in the area of life sciences, in healthcare, and in consumer health. So I'm sure we um, have lots of people online who are going to tell me about themselves, and um, we're going to learn um, who's uh, in the in the audience today, so to speak. Uh, actually, in 2016, I'll be uh, publishing a book about transforming science into commercial success and how to move from cures to cash. So I look forward to that, and I would love to get your feedback once you have a chance to read it as we get uh, busy in 2016. So four key challenges that lots of people face today are, first of all, if we look at um, universities that um, are educating our scientists and our clinicians of today, only 0.4% of those universities teach anything about sales or marketing or even commercialization to their scientists or clinicians. So if you're feeling like you're struggling in this area, um, you know, wonder why. It's probably because, uh, you know, you're, you're looking at learning a whole second career. We also know that according to research, 99% of entrepreneurial scientists and healthcare professionals are frustrated with their efforts to date in commercializing their services. So whether it's just being um, the fact that you're trying to realize the income that you're trying to realize if you're a healthcare professional or if you're trying to get your science to the market, it can be extremely frustrating for those of you who are running your own businesses, which um, pretty much everyone in healthcare is nowadays. Um, also, only 50% of established organizations have a top level, C-suite level marketing person in their organization. So again, um, very even only half the organizations have someone to lean on. And the last point here is that in general, or across the board actually, you are 400%, 400% more likely to be successful if you have a coach or a firm to help guide you. Um, so we know this in why people get life coaches, why you get fitness coaches, why you have a, a lawyer, an accountant, um, even a plumber. Those are versions of coaches, although they have a specific expertise in their, their areas. Uh, so before I move on, just want to say thank you to the people who have put in their information so far in the chat box. I'll wait to see if I can get a few more people and then I'll tell you who's on, on the line today. So at Health Connections, we provide the five building blocks for your growth. We have extensive commercialization services, a long list there, which I'm not going to read through, but you can read through. We have a global network of contacts and prospects, over five million people when we look at people in life sciences, healthcare, and patients. We have people in not-for-profits and government and all kinds of areas. And we have very strong partnerships, and we also have advisory services around helping you raise capital, if that's one of your requirements. And we do provide strategic coaching and mentoring to every client, big or small, free of charge. So along the way with providing our services, we provide lots of coaching and mentoring, um, you know, so we would love to have the chance to work with you as well. So again, I'm going to tell you who's on the line today. We have a president from EMED International Limited. We have uh, Catherine, who's a Bachelor of Science in Pharmacy with an MBA. Great, Catherine. So you know a bit more about business than maybe some of these other people who might be frustrated. Um, we have Bob from Boston, um, an advisor and consultant advisor to innovative healthcare companies. We have Gabriel from Ottawa, Ontario, representing Texas Technology, Texas Telehealth Technology. Um, the techno technical director of the Texas Telehealth Technology. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, a couple other people. We have their locations from Australia, Saudi Arabia, United Kingdom, India, Iran, a couple other places in the United States, Greece, 
uh, India, Canada, United States, United States, Canada. So a wide spectrum of people, physicians, practitioners, technology sources, etc. Lots of people from all over the world. So thank you for joining us today. So um, looking at your goals, um, I'm going to cover uh, a couple of your goals that we think you have, but you might have some other ones. And if you do have other goals that I don't mention on this slide, again, please feel free to put those into the chat box. So is one of your goals to create more awareness about your new product or service by increasing traffic to your website? Would one of your goals be to find more clinicians or physicians um, who are interested in your new product or service and then put them um, as sort of front and center on your, your, uh, in your product offering so patients can find those physicians? Um, are you looking at offering unique or specialized services not provided by other healthcare companies or other healthcare organizations? Um, are you looking at providing an easy way for the patients to identify the clinicians or physicians who use your new product or service? So you, are you trying to make that, um, that connection instead? Are you trying to drive more traffic to your website? So if we didn't, if I didn't cover your goals there, just stick them into the, or put them into the chat box, please, and we'll make sure that we cover them off in the, today's presentation. So we are partnering with Body One at Health Connections to bring you this clinician physician finder tool to help to bring more awareness to your product or service. Uh, we've even talked to some people in like public health where there's public health things, you know, get your flu vaccine and who are the, the uh, offices who are able to give you that flu vaccine. So um, it doesn't have to be just a commercial entity. It could be a government entity um, that you represent. So would love to chat with any of you to help you be more successful in that regard. You can find out more information um, on our website about the Physician Finder, and you can talk to us afterwards. Um, but let me get uh, right to the presentation today and have you hear from our experts. So a little bit of background on today's presentation. Increasingly, healthcare, medical device, consumer products, pharmaceutical companies, and governments are seeking new and creative ways to bring awareness to their products and services, as well as increased sales. And sales doesn't actually have to be a sale. Um, moving that flu vaccine into the right patients is, you could call that a sale as well, too. Correspondingly, clinicians seek to connect with consumers or patients who can benefit from the services offered at their clinic or their hospital um, or wherever they're located. So the Physician Finder is a smart yet simple solution for medical or other healthcare companies that want to increase your sales or your utilization by driving traffic to your website. The Physician Finder tool allows you to showcase your physicians and their unique abilities, thereby driving more patients to your new service or product, or to your established service or product where you're trying to grow it more. With advanced functionality, Physician Finder allows patients to search your database of physicians and their practices uh, directly from your website, increasing traffic. So let me introduce our speakers for today. The first would be uh, Chris Messina. Chris is the CEO of Body One, a cloud software technology leader headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Body One provides online tools, websites, and web platforms for medical marketing and education. Body One's mission is to connect people with the health information that matters most to them. Body One is also a member of IBM's Partner World and can be found online at bodyone.net. <clears throat> Chris holds um, uh, multiple global technology patents and is an active blogger on social media in medicine as well as on pediatric genetic conditions. He is a graduate of both the Harvard Business School MBA and Rutgers University Bachelor of Science. He also was awarded a Rotary Fellowship to study at Sydney University in Australia. Currently, Chris serves on the boards of the Harvard Medical School affiliated Mount Auburn Hospital, where he is an overseer, and the 321 Foundation and the Harvard Business School Health Alumni Association. Michelle Alford. Michelle is the content and social media manager at Body One. She's been using the internet to connect providers with consumers since she built her first website 15 years ago probably over 15 years ago by now. Michelle works in all aspects of web, de web development and publishing, including writing, design, and marketing. She's produced podcasts, videos, and blogs, as well as written and edited content for traditional publishers. By staying abreast of current trends, Michelle is able to help companies find the best ways to communicate with their target markets. Michelle received her master's degree in publishing and writing from Emerson College. So 
with, uh, I think, no further ado, let me just see. Yep, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Chris, who will kick things off. And um, two other things to remind you about is if you do have any questions um, as the presentation is going along, please put those into the chat box, and then I will ask our speakers those questions after they finish their presentations. And the last thing is we will also be putting up a survey, um, which is up there right now, and we'd love to get your feedback on the presentation today and also your suggestions for future webinars. So over to you, Chris, and thanks very much. Thanks so much, Don, uh, for this uh, introduction. This is um, really an exciting and important topic given the importance of uh, healthcare to all of us. So our first objective in this session is to answer the critical question, why? Why should health organizations serve as an intermediary connecting qualified patients with trained clinicians? Now, as part of that, we're also going to share a case study um, about a leading uh, publicly traded supplier of equipment for cosmetic procedures and the dilemma they faced and, and, and how they solved it. So why, um, why should health organizations serve as intermediaries connecting uh, qualified patients with trained clinicians? Well, there, there, there are really um, four main reasons. Um, and this could also not only include techniques, but it could include specialized uh, services or surgical procedures. Um, or um, various uh, uh, other forms of uh, uh, bio or probiotic uh, treatment. So it's, it's just connecting trained physicians with qualified consu health consumers. There are four main reasons. Uh, the first is it increases utilization of your most effective leading edge um, medical services and technology by facilitating appropriate, and that word appropriate is really important, appropriate um, patient demand. The second is uh, it supports your trained clinicians, your best clinics, potentially your most cost-effective clinics um, by slowing business to them in the form of qualified physicians, which is something, I'm sorry, in form of qualified patients, which is something that all these uh, clinics are, 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 and clinicians are really looking for these days. Third reason is um, utilizing um, the latest in terms of internet-based technology, you can leverage analytics to get, um, and everyone's familiar with this term probably, big data, to get big data um, uh, and real-time data to get an understanding of both the patient demand and the physician and, and market uh, dynamics. And you can do that in literally almost in real time. The, um, the fourth reason is, and, and this is increasingly important, particularly here in the U.S., but, but really all over the world, is that it reduces overall healthcare costs by connecting the right patients with, uh, at the right time with the right clinicians' products and services. Um, so let's go to the, um, that cosmetic uh, firm that, that I mentioned before. So this is a, a publicly traded supplier of equipment for cosmetic procedures. And they were looking for a way to increase the utilization of a novel non-invasive uh, procedure for treating scarring. <clears throat> uh, the alternatives are uh, pretty dramatic surgery. Um, and and so they knew a number of potential patients existed in the U.S., Canada, and Europe and hadn't heard about this procedure. And they decided to basically couple clinical training with a direct-to-patient awareness campaign. So as these clinicians were trained, they began to seek qualified patients to justify their educational investment. Um, <clears throat> simultaneously, the direct-to-patient program increased awareness, and the patients began requesting qualified local physicians for treatment. So at this point, the cosmetic surgery firm had a dilemma. Um, the existing um, tools have a lot of limitations. Um, they're not global. They're not, they're not integrated with um, mobile. Um, they didn't have the analytics to connect the right patient with the right patient, uh, the right patient with the right clinician. And so their dilemma was, well, how do we connect these, these um patients who are qualified with trained clinicians in our area. And that's where the physician finder system developed by um, Body One came in. The, um, 
the physician finder um, system met their needs because, first of all, it's global. Um, Michelle Alford, who's going to um, show some more of the details, will describe all the countries that it is covered basically anywhere in the world. Uh, um, it's fully integrated with phones and it's personal and then it's also social with ed ed literally advanced sharing capabilities designed it to every clinical um, listing. And um, when we say mobile, it facilitates connections between qualified patients and the best clinicians for them, whether uh, right in the local town, whether it's South Dakota, Saskatchewan, Sicily, or, or somewhere in, um, in between. So uh, let's uh, return to what the impact was on this, um, uh, on this uh, uh, cosmetic company, so after they deployed it. So, um, so at their request, we deployed this physician finder system across all their digital direct-to-patient properties or any place that a uh, patient could, could log on, in, including um, right within search engines. Simultaneously, a global database of all the trained clinicians and their characteristics, location, languages, certifications, et cetera, was uploaded to the physician finder system. So within hours, the system was connecting qualified patients looking for scar treatment with their highly trained clinicians. Um, some of their clinicians, as a result of this finder, received over 1,000 patient leads um, each year. And um, every month, which the, both the clinicians and the company management appreciated, they received reports such as this, but in much more detail, on patient traffic which let them further refine their education and communication program. So, um, so what were the results of this? The company's SCAR business, uh, treatment business grew about 25% a year, and it was led by a 10% uh, plus annual recruitment of clinicians for training. The um, physician finder system was a critical part of the offering for the success of the clinicians. This led to a product line expansion and then it led to um, the uh, success of this business became a major element in this uh, publicly traded firm's subsequent um, uh, acquisition at a significant premium by a larger competitor. So now I'm going to turn this over to um, Michelle Alford, who's going to answer some of the, the uh, questions and show some of the details of how does this work. Michelle? Thank you, Chris. Uh, the three questions that Chris asked and that you should be uh, asking yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, why do patients matter? How does helping doctors help you? And why should your website have a doctor locator? I'm going to touch on each of these and then show how the physician finder addresses them. So why do patients matter? If you're in this webinar, I'm sure you already know this, but a lot of healthcare companies that sell directly to hospitals or doctors leave patients out of their sales strategies. They think that patients will go to their primary physician or recommended specialist and leave all treatment options up to them. But today's patients are educated and discerning when it comes to picking their treatments and doctors. Here are some numbers that may interest you. Three years ago, in 2012, 59% of adults looked for health information online. As of last year, 62% of adults looked on health, for health information just on their smartphones. 30% um, of adults consulted online reviews and rankings of healthcare services or treatments prior to making a decision. Patients use online resources to choose which doctors to go to and which treatments to consider. They want quick, easy information that can point them in the right direction. You want to make sure that the information they're finding points them towards your products and your doctors. So how does helping doctors help you? Doctors are always looking for new patients and don't want to spend extra time, money, and energy on finding them. Whether you're launching a new product or trying to sell an older product, doctors want to know that buying this product is going to separate them from their competition and bring them new patients. If you can give your doctors solid numbers that show how many patients come to them from your site because of your treatment, or how many patients are going to other doctors in your network, um, then they are more likely to buy or recommend your products. 
So why should your website have a doctor um, locator? Um, embedding a doctor locator on your site is the perfect way to help your doctors and your patients at the same time. Patients looking for medical information online can find it on your site, and doctors will get the benefit of new patients coming to them through your site. What makes the Physician Finder system different? The Physician Finder is the most robust doctor locator on the market today. It has advanced search technology, customizable modules, in-depth analytics, but it's also extremely easy to add and update on any site. Instead of weeks of programming, hundreds of pages, embedding the Physician Finder on your site only takes an hour of setup on our end and three lines of code. These three lines of code work just as well on a template WordPress design or on a complicated customized site that was built from scratch. Uh, there are several benefits of using iFrame code, and this is the code here. As you can see, it's very easy to copy and paste anywhere. Um, it only adds one page to your site, meaning that it's quick and easy for you to add. Um, other than dropping three lines of code onto that page, no programming is required by your team. The Physician Finder system is hosted on our servers, not yours, so it doesn't put weight on your servers, and we're able to optimize it to make it run as quickly as possible. All future functionality updates are made by us without any additional work being done by your team. This means that you always have the latest version of the Finder with the newest tools and capabilities, and you don't need to lift a finger. The iframe looks like this and will easily fit onto any web page, even if there's a sidebar or a narrow content area. We also have a widescreen version for those with full screen sites or no sidebars. Many elements are fully customizable, including which countries are included, fonts, colors, and advanced search fields. So here are a few examples of the Finder on other sites. As you can see, it fits smoothly into any site design that you currently have. The Physician Finder includes poster code search with options for the nearest five practices or all practices within 10 miles. It also has an advanced search that can allow users to search by any criteria that matters to them, including location, education, uh, gender, insurance options, whatever it is that you want to include and that they want to search by. Um, and maps that will let them look up practices by state or territory. It's also, as Chris mentioned, fully international. We currently support dozens of countries and are constantly expanding. There are also search results integrated with Google Maps and individual physician or practice pages. These are like miniature websites for your physicians or practices. Mm -hmm. So what does the Physician Finder system do for you? It gives your doctors a place to show off their credentials. It drives patient traffic to your site. It sends patients to the doctors who buy your products. It has in-depth analytics that can be used to further your sales efforts. And it has an easy user interface for adding and updating doctor data. So let's go into a little bit more detail on each of these items. What kind of information can doctors share through the Physician Finder system? The short answer is anything. Photos, maps, social media, videos, languages spoken, education, health insurance, awards, news articles, hours of operation, before and after images, anything that your doctors want to include or that you want your doctors to include can be included. Doctors and practices have their own pages in the Physician Finder system, which, as we mentioned, are basically miniature websites. If you can imagine information that your doctor or practice might want to share, there is a way for them to share it on the Physician Finder. How does the Physician Finder drive traffic to your site? The Physician Finder comes with a customizable widget that can be added anywhere that allows code. This includes sidebars, social media sites, advertisements. Um, if you have a blog, if you have a partnership with another company, or if you're running an advertisement campaign, you can include this widget. 
Um, you can even design your own version of it, as many companies that we work with have done. As long as it uses the postal search code that will provide for you, all searches made through the widget anywhere on the Internet will bring patients to their results on your website. The Physician Finder is also extremely search engine friendly. All of those practices and physician pages that we discussed earlier are individually indexed. And because they're constantly updating with new information, search engines rank them higher in search results. So whether patients are searching for individual doctors or for types of treatment, your site is more likely to show up in their results. How does the Physician Finder system increase patient flow to the doctors that buy your products? Uh, here are just a few of the ways the Physician Finder system sends traffic to doctors. Because there are so many patients coming to your website and searching for doctors from there, each of your doctors is more likely to get more traffic. But the Physician Finder also takes extra steps to connect patients who visit the site to your doctors so that they don't just look at the information and leave. For example, one of the optional modules is this pop-up. When a patient searches their postal code, they're asked if they'd like to be contacted by a physician. If they say no, they're immediately taken to their results. If they say yes, they fill in some basic contact information before going to their results. This information is sent to the nearest five participating doctors within their search range. This shows doctors that patients are interested in hearing from them, and they can then connect, contact the patient to discuss setting up an appointment. Even if you don't want to include that or the patient skips that step, they can later choose to email the doctors directly from the site to set up an appointment. And if the patient doesn't want to immediately contact the physician, they can save the contact information directly to their phone, email contacts, or computers to open at their convenience. This means that whenever they have a few extra minutes, whether that day or weeks later, they can easily pull up the contact information for that doctor and call or email them. What kind of analytics does the physician finder provide? We track and keep records of every action that patients take on the site. For individual doctors and practices, this means that we can not only tell them how many patients visited their listing, we can also tell them how many times they appeared in search, how many emails they should have received, how many times someone clicked on their website link, how many times their contact information was downloaded, and how many patients, uh, and how patients initially found their listing. We also track overall trends, such as traffic flow and where people are searching from. I know many of our sales that particularly like the postal search frequency map, that's the one on the left side there, uh, because it's an illustrative way to show doctors how many patients are looking for their services in their area. In addition, for many sites, we send doctors or practices an automatic email every month to update them on their listing analytics. Many of the same details in the admin portal are included in this email. Sales reps can be CC'd on this email if they've attached doctors to their sales profile. So how is the physician information updated? This is very important because nothing on the Internet should ever be stagnant. And um, if someone finds something on the Internet, they expect it to be up to date. The first thing you should know is that it's not actually necessary for you to do anything. The physician finder is fully integrated with customer manage relationship management or CRM systems like Oracle, Salesforce.com, and SAP. So if your company uses any of those, we can use them to automatically update all physician and practice information. You can also send us an Excel or CSV file with all new and updated information for us to upload. If you do want to manage the information yourself, the finder includes a password-protected interface that allows your team to create and edit listings and view stats for existing listings. You give as many or as few people access to this as you'd like. Some of our customers choose to only have one or two administrators, while others choose to have sales reps, sales managers, and doctors all manage their own information. This is the admin dashboard. As you can see, you can edit listings, add new listings, view an and view analytics straight from the dashboard. Administrators can also approve changes made by sales reps or doctors, 
manage user accounts, and customize elements of the finder, including what does or doesn't appear in the practice pages, text colors, and custom blocks, which differ from customer to customer. This is just a very brief overview, but I'm happy to go into more details if anyone has questions about how any of it works. The listing interface is intuitive and easy to use. Uh, this page, for example, allows you to edit a practice's information. You can fill in the contact information, upload photos or video, add physicians, um, add insurance, and select office hours. All very simple and straightforward to use. There's a similar page for adding and editing physician information. In addition, listings can easily be made inactive if a doctor or practice no longer fulfills criteria to be listed and then reactivate it at a later date without needing to refill in any information. In summary, the Physician Finder is a valuable tool that is simple to maintain and provides your physicians with a personalized website while driving traffic to your site. It has detailed analytics that show its value to both your sales team and your customers. There's a minimal learning curve for setting up and maintaining a Physician Finder, and we provide all customers with basic training. If there are any questions, please ask them in the sidebar and we'll answer them soon. Thank you. Great. Thanks so much, Michelle. Um, are we turning it back to you, Chris, for some uh, closing remarks or is it in my camp now? We just have to unmute Chris. Thank you. Uh, in terms of closing remarks, Don, the, the, uh, I guess I would just go to the, the last point that I, that I made um, uh, following Michelle's excellent summary of the features and the benefits, and that's that the, using a, an advanced physician finder system such as uh, Body Ones can really um, improve an organization's uh, bottom line. When you connect qualified patients efficiently, with appropriate care, it will do that. Um, and then, um, so we um, really welcome a discussion about this. So we welcome your questions, and I'm glad to see that there are a number of questions that have already um, come in. And so, Donna, I'll turn it back to you and, and uh, look forward to answering some of those. Great, excellent. Thank you, Chris, for that. So yeah, I'll, I'll go to the first question here. Um, how do you prevent your finder itself from becoming stale as technology advances? Uh, that's a great question. So obviously preventing staleness is, is important with any new technology, but particularly with online internet-based ones where they say the half-life of, uh, of information technology online is under a year. Um, well, so this, the, our approach uh, uh, we, uh, in, in part of our business, manage and, and deploy and build medical websites, and, and probably half of our clients have come to us because they built a great website a couple of years ago, did nothing to it, and it became stale, and now it's old and tired and not working well. Um, that's not an issue with a finder because we've chosen to, to have it be cloud-based, meaning that it's hosted in one central location. It's kind of like what uh, uh, Amazon does with uh, their um, e-commerce platform. And simultaneously, we're enhancing it literally continuously uh, every day, um, uh, small things and, and probably monthly large things. And, and once those updates are made, they're instantly updated across hundreds of websites. Great, thanks so much, Chris. Um, Michelle, was there anything else you wanted to add to that? Uh, no, I think uh, uh, Chris covered it very well. Okay, great, thank you. Um, another question here is, can you customize the physician finder's data based on what information we use? Yeah, as I mentioned in the presentation, you can customize both uh, some elements of the data and um, elements of the design. So in terms of data, you can both turn on and turn off search queries as well as fields for the um, practice pages and physician pages. Um, and we can add new fields for if 
there's any data that we're not currently using that other that you as a company use. Um, as well as design is also, you know, customizable to a degree, such as matching your site colors and uh, pictures and that kind of thing, um, so that it fits very well into your site. Great, thank you. Anything else that you wanted to add there, Chris? Uh, no, I think Michelle covered it. I mean, we can fully customize it. Okay, great, super. Um, well, I think you answered this other question, then can the physician finder be redesigned to match our site? <laughs> so anything else you want to add to that question, or we, did we cover it good enough there? Uh, as uh, I said, there are certainly little design elements that can change. The finder as a whole uh, has a specific way that it looks, but colors, and also, as I mentioned, the widget can be designed. So one of our uh, clients, for example, made a special landing page for the finder, and then uh, we fit in the codes for the search widget and that kind of thing so that then they went to the finder from there. Uh, so we're happy to work with people on what specifically the design changes are that they would want to make. Okay, great, thank you. Um, so another question here, what are any legal concerns that you have seen? And while you're answering that question, I'm just going to put up some contact information here. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. So that's another great question. Um, in general, physician finders are well established and um, expected by, uh, by both consumers and clinicians. You know, obviously the major concern is around potential inducement, which is are you giving something valuable to an individual physician in order to induce their business for which you then, as an organization, turn around and bill Medicare, Medicaid, Health Canada, or other uh, governmental payers. Now, um, we haven't seen any major concerns from the legal and regulatory departments of our clients on this, but obviously all new medical marketing and education programs should, should be cleared uh, uh, first. Okay, great, thank you for that. Um, just a reminder to keep putting your questions in the chat box, I do have a few more to get through. Um, and let's turn back to our speakers here. Uh, so another question is, what are some of the existing customer applications using your finder? Uh, okay, yeah, I can take that. So they've really covered a broad gamut. Uh, so one application which I just mentioned was in locating uh, dermatologists and plastic surgeons for scar removal and matching them with uh, patients with um, that, this kind of scarring. Another has been in um, finding vascular surgeons and interventional radiologists for treating various forms of venous disease. Um, still another has been in locating cancer treatment um, specialists um, uh, uh, globally. Um, and so the potential applications um, you know, are really quite broad. They could potentially even include um, you know, uh, uh, government screening programs where uh, uh, local jurisdictions might want to match patients who need, um, for instance, uh, flu sh shots or um, TB follow-up with, uh, with uh, appropriate centers. So, yeah, they're really quite broad. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, Michelle, anything to add on that one or are we okay with Chris's answer? I think uh, Chris covered it very well. Great, thank you. Um, another question for you guys. If we want to implement this finder, how long will it take to set up? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for that question. Um, since, it, well, this, this system is designed to plug directly and seamlessly into any website. So, I mean, literally, if there aren't a lot of customization um, or um, integration with other backend systems, it, it can be done in as little as a week. Um, other installations um, have required more kind of detailed customization and integration into CRM, which are customer relationship management systems. Um, those, so like such as uh, Oracle databases or Salesforce databases, um, those can take uh, a few months. But really, the bottom line is that we can move as fast as uh, an organization um, uh, with its patients and clinicians uh, require. Okay, super. Uh, Michelle, anything to add there? Uh, no, that's all. 
Okay, great, thanks. Um, Chris, a question directed towards you. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts in the Canadian medical marijuana space where the licensed growers direct patients mm -hmm. to their associated doctors? Uh, so, you know, uh, I'm assuming, um, so the, the, this, this kind of matching, uh, that's a traditional matching, um, it, it's no different in the, in from matching a, a, a patient with um, scarring with a physician that, that um, treats scarring. If there's a, if there's a, an approved list and, you know, I'm assuming that this is um, legal in, in, uh, in all those jurisdictions, then the patients um, uh, that are looking for that can be matched directly to the centers that provide that. And we can put in um, an intermediary step where you have to have your license uh, or your um, patient um, number before you can access the system. So the, the kind of the checkpoints to make sure that um, it, they're not being abused can, can be easily built in. So. I hope that, does that answer the question? Um, if it doesn't answer the person's question, please just stick another follow-up in the chat box. But it sounds to me like it did, but I'm not the person asking the question. But thank you, Chris, that was great. Sure. Um, so just a few highlights. Um, we talked earlier about the fact that the physician finder system can help to drive traffic by connecting health consumers with physicians that use your product or service. Um, hopefully we've answered that. If there's any other questions you have around that goal, please again stick them put them into the chat box. The solution really leverages, the physician finder leverages online and mobile technology to better connect health consumers with physicians. One thing I think that's really phenomenal about the physician finder is that little widget that you can stick in all sorts of social media. And if you're trying to find a doctor um, and you just get this widget anywhere on the website and it's connected with, um, you know, the fact that you're looking for someone that uh, is, you know, looking for your type of solution, it takes them right to your website. So a great way to drive traffic right to your website. I, I think that's one of the, the most powerful pieces of the system. So I mentioned these goals in the beginning. Um, if, we, if we haven't fully addressed meeting your goals as articulated here, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you have other goals that um, you would like to address, please again stick those into the chat box, place your questions there, and we'll um, answer them for you before we close out for today. Uh, also want to remind you that we have the survey in the chat box, and we'll put it up there again in a moment. And if you could take just like two minutes and answer that survey, it would be much, much appreciated. So I'm going to um, turn it back to Chris and to Michelle. Um, each maybe, if you could, I, I've given some of the points right there that I think are fabulous about the Physician Finder. Maybe if you could each um, recap what you think is, is fabulous, some functionality, and or I think, uh, Chris, you mentioned some financial reasons to take a look at the fin Physician Finder. So I will turn to you first, Michelle, and if you could just give us your uh, a few highlights as to why you think the Physician Finder could really help out our audience today, um, that would be terrific. Uh, well, as I mentioned, the Physician Finder really helps to drive additional traffic to your site through SEO, through the widget, um, and it helps to drive more traffic to your doctors, which is really the most important thing to expanding your business. Uh, it's also very customizable, and we work one-on-one -on -one with all of our customers to make sure that they're having the uh, best experience possible. Great, thank you so much for that. And Chris, um, I'll turn it over to you to uh, give closing remarks. I don't see any other questions that have come through, but you still have, while Chris is talking, if someone else wants to put in a question, please put it into the chat box and I'll and have it asked after Chris finishes his closing remarks. Sure, well, uh, first I'd like to thank uh, you, Don, for hosting this and, and uh, I'd like to thank everyone who participated. I, I know this is the holiday season and it's a really busy time, so really appreciate the opportunity to share our enthusiasm for this um, this solution with you. And and um, so just to summarize, there there are five main uh, benefits that I'd like to uh, just highlight. The first is global reach. 
So wherever you want to go, um, uh, whether it's really local in, in one province or one state, or if you want to go every country on the globe, the, the physician finder system will do that. Um, the second is the ability to connect the um, qualified patients with the most appropriate clinicians. So uh, uh, one patient might not be right for one physician, or one physician might not be right for a different, uh, uh, a different patient. And so this has, gives the tools to facilitate the most appropriate connections and the ability to measure it, which is the third point. Uh, that this system has really rich um, analytics, uh, uh, some of which uh, I know Michelle showed some, uh, some screenshots. The fourth reason is that as the world shifts increasingly um, to mobile, um, this system is fully integrated with mobile. It leverages mobile technology, push to call, local mapping, and um, so that it's literally a tool right in a, a patient's hand, right, a tool in a clinician's hand. And um, the, last, um, the last point is that it really can help your bottom line. And, and, and by connecting um, qualified patients efficiently with appropriate care. So I want to thank everybody and wish everybody happy holidays. Great. Thank you so much to our presenters today, both Chris Messina and Michelle Alford. And thank you to those who have come online to hear about this great tool. And if you would like any further information, please feel free to contact uh, me and we'll make sure that, uh, I'll just get to that slide right there, and uh, we'll make sure that we get back to you right away and see if we can help you be even more successful in the new year. Thanks again. Have a great holidays, everyone, and uh, blessings to all. Take care. Thank you.